So uh, what went really well this year is the amount of information the team have, team have learned about uh, carbon fibre monocoque chassis and more advanced technologies and materials. The team have now got in a position where they've got a lot more knowledge about uh, motorsport manufacturing techniques, design techniques, and we're definitely better uh, positioned now to compete in the future. Uh, I think uh, our electrical side of the bill of materials for a cost I mean, um, went really well. Uh, much more detailed than it's ever been. Uh, that's really what we focused on because we're first year at EV. So that was a really big thing because it wasn't de very detailed before. So I'm really happy with how that went this year. Uh, we passed our accumulator scrut first year EV which, uh, and heard from several scrut judges that it's really good. It's probably the best they've seen. So really happy for the guys who did that this year. They put a massive shift in, so that was great. Um, so I'd say one thing that went really well for us was actually just managing to get our car together and get it to competition and have it like we haven't had the opportunity to get it onto the track but like just have it move in have it mainly built we've had a couple issues with Scroot but a few weeks ago I wasn't looking actually like a like that was going to be an outcome so we've put in work a lot a lot of work over the past few weeks and managed to get the car out so that's something that we're all very proud of yeah what went well is the complexity of the car uh, it's incredibly complex and we managed to fit everything in the car runs we're extremely happy with how the design actually turned out. Uh, fuel dynamics is a lot better. Thermal management, we improved a ton. And uh, we're just very happy about the result of the car that we have, yeah. Scrutineering. We're really proud of our scrutineering. We've been the first through scrutineering on the Thursday, two years running now. So that, that's a big Yeah, big we're very, we're very happy with that, haven't we? Dotting the I's and crossing the T's. Before, before we came, we made sure the car was well refined and actually looked finished because if it looks right probably is right well we got the car here we got to Silverstone that's a good start um, the building process went very well uh, the design process has gone well we've got the costing we've got the business the suppliers everyone's worked quite well with us in a team yep. I think I'm happy with that I'm very happy with the team really this year we did we did very very well uh, with the current situations we got a lot of support from the uni yeah. from the staff from the students as well and, and we're really really proud to be here and hopefully we'll do a lot better you know, in the upcoming years. What well, went well? Um, I mean, obviously it's been a difficult year, but uh, we've managed to get a car down, which is a, a big improvement on last year, not being able to even get a car. So uh, I think that's quite an achievement for us. Um, finished quite high in the, in the design event, considering none of our team really have had much involvement in the, t in the, in the team over the past few years. So I'm quite happy with where we, we, uh, what, we were, uh, what we were able to achieve this year. So we got through Screw on Friday. We've been able to complete all of the events so far, which has been really good. Um, I mean, hopefully we're gonna finish the endurance this afternoon. Um, but yeah, getting through on Screw on Friday was really, really good for us. Um, we have um, um, manufactured all the designs, um, structural designs, which work very well. Uh, we've passed all the, uh, all the rules uh, during the Screw. And we are very happy with it. We had a few hiccups with um, other things, um, but lots of testing. Lots so it's of all come out the other side as well. Scrutineering. Yeah, we managed to get through scrutineering on our second attempt. Yeah, literally. Uh, and we spent a, we spent a lot of time reviewing the rules throughout the year, taking the time to make sure we were confident with the car and following it as best we can and it, it paid off in the end. And we were the second team to clear the scrutineering! We <laughs> Everything! I don't know, it's so hard to pick one thing. Exactly. I think definitely the acceleration, yeah, to, be, to be third in that uh, against oh the yeah, big teams. That was a highlight, yeah. I think for me that I've been here last year with the team, um, we had some ups and downs, showed what teamwork was all about and now seeing us being able to actually do events was actually absolutely amazing. Way. Coming third in um, <laughs> acceleration, doing pretty well when it comes to the scrutiny and generally it's been a great event and we are really enjoying it. Way. <laughs> hmm. 
I think the acceleration went quite well and the skid power went quite well. I think the team really learned how to communicate with each other and do things efficiently very well as well as well. Hmm. <laughs> I think the last parts of the build when we started assembling everything went quite well. Everything just fit together. That was where it goes. Uh, this, this year we learned a lot. The team was uh, amazing. <laughs> well, this, it was a critical year, but I think we can do better the next one. So what went well for us this year is we've really optimised the car for the endurance and the vehicle dynamic setup is our best yet and we think that UGR's 22 car is its best entry yet and we look to improve in endurance today on last year. Um, did very well in the cost event and made the engineering design final so it's a, been a successful year so far. Um, I think considering we were the first year after Covid, the knowledge transfer was one of the big concerns we had from previous years having not been in the lab a lot. So being able to bring a car here and actually passing all the scrutineering I think was quite a good thing. Uh, as we understood that that was more important side of the competition to actually pass all the scrutineering rather than trying to optimise too much on one or two elements to do really well in the racing side. Um, so yeah, I think being reliable was more important. Yeah, no, I'm really happy with the mechanical aspect of the car. Um, we did an amazing job making it look really clean and the judges really loved that on the design. As well for me is the electrical lead, um, making sure that the accumulator got through scrutineering and was legal and got the charging, charging trolley to work was really mega for the team. So I think we did well in the static events owing to the success we had in the concept class previously. So we were able to continue with that success over here. In terms of scrutineering, we did struggle a little bit, but uh, we did well in the battery scrutineering, so maybe that. Quite went well. Okay, so this year we were quite well prepared in terms of our static events. We had a design report, we had a really good costing, we have also prepared the um, business plan presentation, which went quite well, uh, which we didn't have in the past. Um, we got the car here in the first place. It got pretty much finished before we got here. So I think that kind of sums it up. Yeah, well, we built a car and brought it to Silverstone. That's yeah. the biggest you achievement. You can't really ask for We could you know, have thought for it. We originally um, came, we were kind of on the ropes whether we were going to pass scrutineering or not. But uh, I think now with the advice we've got from all the judges and scrutineers, next year we can hopefully come and build the best car here. Yeah, the <laughs> okay.